Hello there, this is Joseph, and uh, welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to start out the road to animations. And animations are really great in QML and easy to use. Uh, we're going to take our model project that we have before. We have a XML list model, which is going online to a open source database using their API and getting some XML data back. We query where we want it from, and we get the banner and we delegate that in my Dell. Inside of my Dell, we have the source set up, okay? And we say, if the status is equal to an error, then look inside of our JavaScript file and look for fallback. And we can look at that right there, which is set to this, which probably should be set to a local file because we don't want to keep on loading things. Um, that kind of if statement makes no sense. It would have to be to a local file. Anyways, uh, the important part of that tutorial, the important part of that part of that tutorial was to show you how to actually import JavaScript. So, anyways, back to animations. We're only going to discuss uh, behavioral animations on this part of this tutorial, and what I mean by that is we want behaviors to happen uh, when when properties are changing or when properties are doing something different. Okay, so you have to think about that a little bit. So let's let's start out with scale. All right, so let's say scale. All right, and we're gonna say uh, status is equal to image dot ready. Okay, so if the status is equal to image dot ready, we are gonna say scale it to one, else keep it to zero. Okay. So what we've done here is we've created two states within the scale property, okay? We've created the state of, you know, if this image is ready, one state is, you know, maxim, you know, put the scale up to one, else the scale is going to be zero, right? Okay, so what we can do is we can add behavior to that, okay? So we can say behavior on scale. Okay, so notice we have this behavior and we're saying on, and then we're pointing back to our scale right here. Okay, and then we got curly brackets because we're going to put stuff in between this. Now we're going to say number animation, and because this is going to be a simple animation, we're just going to do that, but later on we'll be getting into quite in-depth animations, but for right now. Um, so there are a lot of properties of number animation, but um, we're just going to use some simple ones here. Let's try duration. And that's the time that it takes, okay? So if there is behavior at all on scale, okay, the time that it takes to run this animation is what we're setting right now. So there's definitely going to be behavior because it's going to be at zero until it's ready, and then once it's ready, it's going to turn to one. So there's 100% you know, behavior happening here, okay? It's state behavior, we should say, okay? So let's set that, okay, to be equal to, say, 800 just for right now. Okay, let's save and run this code. And you can see, there it goes. The animation started and it stopped when it was done. Okay, now, what else can we add? We can add something called easing. Okay, it's going to be easing.type, because that's the one that we're going to use in this tutorial. Now we type in capital easing, all right, and now we type in... <clears throat> the type of animation that we want it to run throughout the animation, the easing type of animation. Okay, And in this case, we're going to do out because we're scaling from 0 to 1. So that's kind of pushing something outward at, at you. Right? So we'll just say out bounce. Okay. Save this and run this. And you'll see that the, uh, the, the things will bounce. Right? Now there are a lot of them. And you can go through and look at each one, you know, um, and there are ins and there are outs and then there are just regular ones on, you know, check out the help manual. There's there's a bunch of them. Uh, we can do out back, which will push it all the way out and then bring it back and let's set the uh, duration on that to be maybe 1200. I think that's by milliseconds. I check the help manual for that. And uh, there it goes and it's just bouncing them right up, uh, out back and them right up out there. All right. Now, we don't have to necessarily put it 
okay, from for on scale, right? We could do inside of our uh, inside of our number animation, we can target things. We can uh, we can target, okay, and we would have to put it on inside of our uh, inside of our number animation. We can target things. We can uh, we can target, okay, and we would have to put an ID to our image here. I'm just going to call it main image. We say target is equal to main image. All right. Now we have to tell it what property to grab. Okay, and we're going to say opacity, and these are in quotes. And we're going to say from, okay, zero to one. All right. Now let's save this and run this. And you'll see, instead of it targeting the scale, it's going to target the opacity. All right. Now, what we could also do instead of that, of course, is we could do something really simple. Um, take the opacity out of here. Take the scale part out right there. And we're back to being on scale. Let's just run that. Outbounce on the scale. Happening a little bit too quick there. We set a target. There we go. We could also do something like whoops. Opacity. And we could say status. scale. And now all we would do is just take this, copy it, put it down underneath opacity, and instead of behavior on scale, we're going to say behavior on opacity. Now we could set it up so that the uh, the fade happens faster. Okay, so the wolves will say that's happening at 800, right? So let's go ahead and run this. So the fade happens faster than the uh, bounce there, as we can see. Um, maybe at 1100. And uh, um, you know, I don't know if I can do it like this, but um, it is what it is. Uh, so from zero. There we go there. We have opacity and uh, behavior. Well, I'm Joseph. This has been your first tutorial on how to start behavior. And uh, next we'll be doing states and transitions and getting into a lot more um, animations. Uh, we could also, later on we're going to be talking about different types. Uh, we can add sequential animations to a single animation and, and so on and so forth. But to start out with, there you go. Uh, I'm Joseph. Have a good one. See you later.